Hey, good morning, tubers. So it's uh, half past eight on a Saturday morning. The sun's come out, and we've had a quite a few days in a row of bad weather. About four days in a row of re well, not bad weather, but really, really average weather. So the batteries are uh, dropping down fairly heavily. Um, under load, they were about 50 volts, not not under too much load, about 51 volts. So I'm going to go and do a battery voltage uh, bottom end. Remembering that I don't do bottom balancing, I do top balancing, so they're going to be out. But it's just more of an informational video than anything else. So let's go and turn the power off and get this done. Okay, we change it from jet set to mains. That's all I've got to do. That completely bypasses all my off-grid stuff. Okay, we also come out here and turn the solar off. Uh, I do apologise, the crickets are savage today or cicadas or whatever they are. So we go through and turn that off. There we go. We'll let that rest for a couple of minutes. So 51.4 volts, it's probably gonna drop a little bit. So we'll let that rest, then we can do a battery voltage. Now, this isn't ideal, but it's the only way I can work out of doing it. I'm gonna put a, a tripod here and put the, um, the multimeter down there in the corner where it's sort of little reflection on it and then I'm going to run the bigger camera outside and what I've got today is I'm, I'm running I've just added a whole heap of cable to it um, so it can sit down there that's the only way I can actually do it and it works now I've tested it and it um there's so little difference between just running these and then running it through this wire it's not going to matter and I'm doing a consistent test anyway so it's still going to say the differences between each cell well so let's get this done hey uh, this is horrendously bright i've got my two bits of wire with it all sorted get that camera going so let's do some um voltages basically i'm going to do from from um, left to right top to bottom so we we'll get all these voltages done and see what it's like and i'll try and do them all as, as consistently as possible so let's pack one pack two and I'll leave each one on there for a few seconds so you can see the difference. Pack three. Pack Go down to 15, get them nice and warm in the sun out here. This is another no and low pack. That's not horrible. That's 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I think I've lost count actually. I think this one's actually 28. Okay, last row at the bottom there. And let's get this done. Let's get... This one's 29. Six. 
batteries in one hit we'll go up to the shed edit that out so it makes it a little bit more sense for YouTube and work out the differences between high and low I'll see you up there hey guys okay so we're back up in uh, in the workshop now and I've just sort of put it all together on um, the, the DIY powerwalls.com forum uh, just because it was I tried doing it in the video it just took me ages so I gave up so basically we've got 3.92 as a high and 3.74 as a low on pack one, which is 0.18 of a volt difference. Um, and that was last balance on the 25th of September. And the video is just below it. If you want to look at the video, just click in the description below, I guess. Pack two, we've got uh, three, and the forum's going off. Um, oh, sorry, the Facebook group. We've got 3.93 high on the second pack and 3.74 as a low um, they're both the same for the low and fairly close on the high which is pretty good um, and that was done mid-october I don't think I actually did a video of that one and if I did I can't find it um, so that's 0.19 difference so it's a little bit more different there by the look of it not the end of the world still and that's if my maths is right <laughs> we all know I hate maths and this is pack three. This pack three was put into service on the 27th of November, 2016. Um, and it's got a high of uh, 3.89 and a low of 3.82. Um, and we've got 0 0.07 of a volt difference. So I am, and again, there's a video there. Um, so really, really happy with that. I hope that helps somebody remember bottom balanced, not top. I have said this a few times before. I'm not doing top balance. I'm not doing bottom balance um, because I'm more concerned about them going over voltage than um, uh, I'm. I'm more uh, yeah. I'm more concerned about it going over voltage and killing a pack or catching on fire or something than I am of it going under voltage and killing a pack. If it goes under voltage and I kill a pack, I'll replace it and I'll smile and I'll say, "Oh well, you're all right." So that's my reasoning for doing top and not bottom. Um, I know what I'm dealing with. Um, I enjoy it. Um, I'm still checking it extremely regularly. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for tuning in again. Thank you.